second day of the Democratic National Convention. It is now underway, and last night, President Joe Biden handed over the torch to Vice President Kamala Harris. Tonight, more well-known names in the Democratic Party will take the stage. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Rachel Knapp joins us live from the convention. Rachel, obviously a busy time. What can we expect tonight? Hey, Jameson. Great to hear from you. Yeah, we are now kicking off night two of the Democratic National Convention. As you can see right behind me, there are a lot of people here on the convention floor. We heard from President Joe Biden late last night talking about you know, what he has done with his administration uh, during his time as the, the president. Uh, but I want to really quick uh, come over to uh, some uh, local Pennsylvanians. We have our state Democratic Par uh, Party chairperson, uh, Sen State Senator Treat. Thank you for joining us. What are your takeaways from last night? Well, look, I think uh, it, was, it was the energy in here was electric. People from um, across the country showed their excitement and commitment. The contrast between Kamala Harris' record of delivering for Americans, including um, Pennsylvanians, was uh, contrasted against Donald Trump's record of failure. But and it also showed that we we had a message for rural Pennsylvanians, we had a message for urban Pennsylvanians, we had a message for suburban Pennsylvanians, a message that included protecting a woman's right to choose, keeping people safe, um, creating jobs. Uh, and, and Kamala Harris and, and Governor Tim Walz, uh, both the vice president and the governor's record uh, of, of delivering that will show uh, that we can do it, that we're going to continue to do it. And then it was the uh, the, the, the uh, tribute to Joe Biden and 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 uh, sort of characterizing his record of service and selflessness. It's so appreciated. A guy like Joe Biden, who's president, who decided that he wants to put country first versus a guy in Donald Trump who always puts himself first. All right. Well, thank you, uh, Senator Street. We really appreciate that. Appreciate your take on this. Uh, we have a lot to cover uh, for the rest of the night. It's just night two. But Jameson, for now, I'm reporting live from the Democratic National Convention. Rachel Knapp for your.